morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and it's verse 9 and it says this and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Tremendous words aren't they? And I, the little title to my thought this morning is this the wealth of his grace the wealth of his grace have you thought how wealthy you are do you know as i've been prepared in these thoughts day by day i've been so encouraged i've encouraged myself as, as i looked into the treasure chest of god's word what a treasure chest it is and do you know the deeper we go in the greater the promises and i trust that god will enable you and me to dive deep into his word each and every day and that God will bless us through his word. I wonder, do you ever feel weak? I know I do. Very often we can find ourselves in times of despair because we feel too weak to cope with the, the trials and the difficulties and the temptations that come our way. And yet when we think about it, in our strength, we are weak. The enemy is so much stronger than what we are. And yet the wonderful truth is that our Saviour is all powerful. And so he is so much more stronger than our enemy is. In our weaknesses, we should be glad for it makes room for his divine strength. When we can't do any more, we can trust in him. When we come to the end of ourselves, we're only at the beginning of the ability of God. We would never have known the power of grace if it was not for the weaknesses of nature. Let us ever thank God for the thorn that we may find in our flesh, for if that brings us nearer to Christ, then it's worth it all. You see, the gold digger will never complain about the mud that has covered his body when he finds that nugget of gold. I'm glad, friends, this morning that we haven't found gold, but we found the pearl of greatest price. And he is far greater than anything or anyone that we could have ever found. Verse 9 says, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. He is made perfect in your weakness and in my weakness. And so today, how great it is to know that the all-sufficient one is still sufficient for our biggest needs. Let us learn to fall back upon God. Let us learn to fall back upon his grace. And if he does not remove our grief, then he will enable us to bear it. It is far better for us, friends, to have God's strength than our own. For if we were a thousand times stronger in ourselves, then we would, it, it would still not be enough to face our enemy. Yet even if we were weaker than what we are, in Christ, the Bible says we can do all things. Let us always remember what it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as ourselves but our sufficiency is in god oh let's remember that truth this morning and as we go out into the day know that all our sufficiency is found in him i trust you'll be able to join me again tomorrow morning to delve again into the treasure chest of his word and find yet another priceless promise god bless each and every one of you i look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning.